This painting is called Harvest Moon. It's primarily a plein air painting done this last September. And it's always fun to go find the full moon coming up because it changes, it raises our gaze and it will change the scale of the world around it depending on how close you catch it to the horizon. And there's this great um, old Greg Brown lyric that dances in my head a little bit of the moon isn't coming up tonight, it's tangled in some brush. And so I think about it because when I go out on the full moon rises, it changes every day. And so you're, and you only get like one or two days really to get it. And so when you get out there, it's like, this is it. And so eventually you just have to stop. I always think I've got a compass heading. I know where it's gonna come up and it never quite lines up. So there's always this sense of adventure and you're so tethered to the world beyond you. And so it's, I'm here for this. And then what can I find underneath it to give it a sense of place and the moons all have names for the different times of season and so it's always fun to look through and see like the silver maple moon or the the snow moon or the hay moon or the and there's and then you extend that into different cultures and places and you have different languages for different names of the moon and it's a I will say it's a lovely poetic wormhole to go down. We had a lot of forest fires this summer and into the fall fall and so that changes the light and if i hope you're able to come in and see the show because you'll feel a very i don't know if the camera will get it but there's a very subtle transition from the tree line up through these blue grays and then there's a gray that happens when you in the complementary mixing of the pinks the warm notes and the cool notes plus white will create a little bit of a vibration here. And then we get into this pinkier note as we get up towards here, where despite the smoke and the haze and the ambient light from the setting sun at the same time, there's the moon has its own experience there too. And it influences the light around it. And it's not perfect. So if you get up on it, it won't be a perfect circle. And because the air is softening it. And I mean, we could get out there and measure it and it might be perfect when I got out whatever tool, but there's a sense of imperfection that you can allow for in a painting that one, makes it feel more human, two, softens the focus of things and is closer to how we actually see and experience the world. You know, it's my hope that you imagine yourself in those places, because I can tell you the best part of being in these places isn't the painting, it's just being in these places. And the painting helps me pay attention.